Okay, class. Today, we're going to be learning about the American Revolution. You know, just yesterday, I was at the store box with my family, and as we left, I was mugged. And you know what I said to him? I said, Boke, Boke, F you, mother effer, Boke, because <laughs> I'm just as broke as you are, pal. <laughs> It really connects to the American Revolution and how it Laura, check out my new earrings. Don't you think Ronald will love them? Oh, definitely, Charlene. They're totally glam. I know, right? I'm like, so beautiful. <laughs> Don't you just absolutely positively love the art department here at school? So many art supplies, such <laughs> rad teachers. Franklin Heights is the greatest high school in all of America. If only they taught about inspiration, not method, I would know what to do for this big final project. I know. Dude about this incredible school, Franklin believes. This is Mr. Stone. At this point, we have an emergency. Please lock down the building immediately. Students and staff, get to the nearest classroom and lock the door and remain quiet until you are released by a school or emergency official. Ah! Come on, Buffett. Okay, class, you heard the announcement. Stay together, stay quiet, and we should all be safe for Reno. Well, now you see me, right? Well, yes, I suppose I do. So, Laura. Ronald, notice anything? Uh, no. <laughs> Not even my incredibly glam earrings? Oh, right. Glam. So, Laura. So, when's the next <laughs> football game? It's the Saturday. So, Laura. Ryan, I'm on the cheerleading squad, so I'll totally be there. Oh, me too. Indeed. Football is definitely a game with cheerleaders and a football. Well, it was nice talking to you, Charlene. <laughs> My earrings are totally glam. That dumb jock has no idea what he's missing. <laughs> okay, class. It appears that someone is committing a felonious act. <laughs> okay. Everyone is going to be fine arena. Just like my kids last Tuesday. Right? Oh, can it, Mr. Dills? We're all gonna die! Shut it. Grave awaits us! Just shut it. No one wants to hear you whining. Ugly cow. Ugly cow? What a beautiful. Jesus, Richard, take a chill pill. Why do you have to yell at me like that? Some people just need a mellow out. Yeah, but this is no time to panic. We all just need to keep it chill, muchachos. Take yeah. a seat, take a breather, and we'll all be bokeh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Charlie. You're not ugly. What? You're beautiful. On the inside. And that's what counts. <laughs> Quit wigging out. Don't have a cow, man. I can't help it. Stressful situations make me stressed. I'm tired of my cow when I'm stressed. Can't you see how stressed I am right now? Okay, chill out. What do you do to remain calm? Normally ask myself math questions. Right now I'm too stressed to think of any. Alright, um, what is it? Two plus five. It's seven, Richard. You gotta be better than that. What is the square root of negative one? You can't square root a negative number, duh. I knew that. I'm just playing with you. When you square root a negative number, you get an imaginary number. An imaginary number? Like how five i's an imaginary number? I being the square root of negative one? Yeah, that's actually right. Say, you wouldn't happen to know what for math's last theorem would you? Isn't that how the Pythagorean theorem doesn't work if you use a number greater than two for the exponent? Yeah, how do you know about that? Well, my friend Sean and I went to a seminar last summer and they discussed it briefly. I don't know a Sean, but if he's into math, you've got to introduce me to him. Sean's great, he's awesome. Don't you think football's the greatest? No, it's not. <laughs> what? I thought you loved football. It's fun, but it's just... Isn't it your life, your passion? Between you and me, that's just what I tell you. And what do you like to do? Dance with me, Laura. <laughs> do something like this. <laughs> Whoa! No! Do you think that this is a law town? Oh, contraire. No, friend. This is a lockdown. So sit your butterinos on the floor, okay? I thought this school was safe. Safe? Of course it's not safe. It's public school. <laughs> Haven't you ever seen Guernica by Picasso? No. Have you ever seen Picasso?
Picasso? No. Have you ever seen art? Peony. Sorry. Guernica is a piece painted by Picasso to protest the Spanish Civil War. It shows the pain and death caused by pointless fighting. When I look at it, what I see is what I fear. Well, great. Now I feel worse. <laughs> All right, guys. Lockdown's over. With a gunshot. Oh, you don't need to worry about that. But well, we could have died. You can die at any moment of any day. <laughs> that doesn't mean you should live your lives in fear. Or a flying pile of ball. Time is a fickle thing, Richard. Enjoy it. Your lives have barely begun. Cherish the time you have while you have it. <laughs> okay. Well, class dismissed. Adios, muchachos. Alright, using eight eight in addition only, make a thousand. Eight hundred and eighty eight plus eighty eight <laughs> plus eight. Plus eight plus eight equals one thousand. Sick. That's funky fresh. If you think that was fun and fresh, you should join the math team. No way. What? Why not? You're so, you're so good at math. You and our team win championships. You can make your parents proud. It's just not for me. When you're gonna get off your butt and do something with your life? So I'm just like my parents. Oh come on, just try it. No way. Yes way. No way. Yes way. What can make your parents proud of having a son in the math team? Name a few things. Like what? Never mind. Oh, come on, tell me, like what? Oh, get off my back! It's pointless! Did you think it was pointless when Sir Isaac Newton invented calculus? Sir Isaac Newton was straight. Whoa, wait, what? Never mind. Wait, you're, for crying out loud, Richard, it's the 80s, who cares? My mom, my dad, my dog. Being gay isn't a bad thing. Alan Turing was gay and he invented the computer. We also committed suicide. Stop being so down on yourself. What I'm suggesting is joining the math team, not cracking the Nazi code. Alright, fine. You can't tell anyone, okay? Okay. Okay. What's going on with you? How else will I cover up my ugly face? But I told you, you're beautiful. You said it was beautiful, on the inside. And that's when people tell ugly people to make them feel better about themselves. The inside of true beauty exists, Charlie. Not the outside. Do you think I like football? I don't know anymore. There's nothing beautiful about a football helmet, Charlene. It hides your true self, just like your makeup. It shields you and just makes you another part of your person on the team. You blend in with the crowd. Football isn't beautiful. Dancing is. About dancing, I can express myself. Dancing is art, Charlene. You're not making any sense. It's not supposed to be logic. Isn't there something that you like to do that doesn't involve painting your face? Well, when I was younger, I tried singing, but I'm too afraid to sing in front of people. You should try singing again. But people will judge me. What you talking about? Just do what makes you happy? I guess I can give it a try. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go practice my skills. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. 
five. Right, just a new math lead? Yeah, he's super good at math. He's math yeah, Welcome to the crew. His name's Richard. Cool. Your nickname will be Radius. What have I got myself into? As you know, my nickname is Pythagoras, and this is Quadrant. She's the math team captain. We never get new members. It's always rad to get a new math lead. Welcome to Team Home Fry. First question, what's the square root of negative one? Well, it's I. Super fresh home dog. That's what <laughs> Well, Pete, I think we figured it out. Yeah, I think we did. Truly, this is the greatest piece I've ever done. Alexander, will you grab my easel over there? Sure. You know, Pete, I think that this lockdown has changed me. I'm ready to leave this school and go off to college. The lockdown made me realize that there's more to, school, uh, more to life than just the walls of the school. You know what? That's exactly what my art's about. It's about change and how it's pointless to stay the same. We have to change and try new things to better ourselves. It's really the moral of everything. From dancing to math, new things replace the old and mankind keeps advancing. <coughs> Anyways, I'm glad you've branched out, Alexander. Peony, it's Alex now. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Spiffy. <laughs> All right, it's time to present my masterpiece. <laughs> Good news, everybody! I now know how to express myself. Not with words or in makeup, but in song. Well, she, Charlene, it's about time. <laughs> Alright, back to my art piece. As I was saying, I present the fruitlessness of Fuyasubus. <laughs>